Good afternoon. <laughs> I am on my way to the gym. Um, it is 12 or 11.45 and I am headed off to go do my workout. My hamstrings are so sore from yesterday. Holy crap. But um, <clears throat> I kind of woke up with a sore throat. So that's... Every morning I feel like I've been waking up with a sore throat and I know we have our humidifier going and all the things. Um, I've been taking vitamin C every day, but it's just feeling... The weather is a little bit strange. Like it gets really warm and then it like the other day it was like 45 degrees and then it gets really freezing cold and I feel like that's messing with me. It's messing with me. So anyway, um, we are getting a water softener today. Hashtag adulting things. Um, Ethan is also finishing the table this weekend, hopefully. So we will be getting our water softener. If you follow me on Instagram, um, then you would have already heard this. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you totally should. It's just the court report. I update stories every day on there. Also, I have giveaways every single month. And this month, I'm giving away $100 to Lululemon and or Sweaty Betty. My favorite. So definitely follow me there. You can win some goodies. I give away random Starbucks gift cards all the time too. But anyways, I was talking about how we had a water softener guy coming and our water was out of, I think 10 is considered super hard. Ours was like a 16. So we were in the extreme hard range. However, we had zero iron in our water, which is like apparently unheard of, just unheard of. So, um, he was saying like, you must have hit the magic well or something because in Minnesota, that does not happen. So that's cool, but our water is still really hard. So we do need to get a water softener. It will help with our skin, my hair, Nevaeh's hair. Apparently like it helps so much with tangly hair. And you guys know Nevaeh has like the world's most tangly hair. So I'm hoping that helps. And, oh my God, I'm freezing, <laughs> freezing cold. So I'm gonna go do my workout and then, oh, we are also getting passports today for Mexico. So many exciting, fun things, adulting things. Um, also, we, I am going to, I don't, if you've got, if you guys have watched me for a while, when I turned 30, um, I took a girl's trip to Nashville and um, it was, so much freaking fun. And now my friend whose wedding I'm in, she's getting married in August. Um, we are going to Nashville for her bachelorette party and I'm so, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And it's a weekend um, that I don't have any weddings. So I'm super pumped. Um, I'm taking less weddings this year just because I really just want to enjoy my summer with the kids with everything so um yeah I'm really really pumped so it's Friday too Ethan's back and we just have lots of things planned this weekend lots of things that include not me. I don't know I don't know but anyways I hope you guys enjoy our vlog today I got them um, now we got to go get their passports you excited yeah Got to take a picture for your passport. All right, government center, here we go. Let's get our passports. What are you gonna smile like? Mm, I don't know. Like cheese. Gray, how are you gonna smile for your picture? You gonna smile? Okay, we gotta run. What you doing? Gonna be putting in a water softener. Where right are you gonna there. be putting it? It's gonna, that's. It's not gonna be right there. I'm gonna install it down here. I'm gonna splice in up here to this line. Do some new plumbing. It's gonna sit right there. And then it's gonna drain all the way down there. Hmm. Be a little project. This is what it looks like. When dad, when my dad installs it, me and my mom are gonna be at the birth, uh, my cousin's birthday party. So, me and Nevaeh are in our comfy clothes. In my water bottle. 
just got a water bottle. We are going to my niece's, her cousin's, uh, little birthday party that she's having right now at my mom's at my mom's house, which isn't super far from here. So we're gonna head out there. Why Ethan figures out the water softener thing. I'm, I I'm thinking, that. yeah, I think you did. I'm think I think it'll be done by the time we get home. He's got to go. Hopefully run some errands, get some tubing. He's gotta figure some stuff out cause apparently it's like weird. I don't know if it's like normal, but like. Where I wanna splice into the main line is a lot farther away from my drain and my electrical than I want it to be. So I'm gonna have to run an extension cord and get some longer drain hose. What's up guys? Providing you with a little bit of an update. Courtney wanted me to make sure I was vlogging when I'm working. Doing a little water softener install. Never done one before, but hey, YouTube is the best for learning about stuff you don't know how to do, as well as I had, uh, you guys know Josh and Rachel, Courtney's best friend Rachel. Uh, they just installed one in their house. So this was my main water line that supplies the entire house. It goes up through here and all the way down and splices into our hot water heater down there. So anyway, I got these uh, shark bite connections, which are pretty dang expensive. They're like 12 bucks for each one of these little brass elbows. Um, but you avoid having to buy special crimping tools to do this kind of stuff. So pretty quick and easy. You just slide it in, it clamps on, it's got an O-ring in it. Um, so anyway, I'm basically spliced in here, cut a piece in of PEX, and then I'm going to drop this down to here my water softener right here is actually going to flip around this way and sit right in that spot so this line is going to come down and it's going to connect into the in and then there's going to be a line coming out of the out and i'm going to run that line up on this side and then splice into that piece so i'll show you guys once the plumbing is all done and when i hook it up and everything but um, i had to cut this chunk this used to be connected to this, kind of like this hose. So I had to cut a chunk out with a PEX cutter. And so wait, wait. Well, that is done. Looking pretty. All spliced in, nice lines. These are the flexible hoses that go down. That's my input on this side. Goes through the machine. That's the output. Goes back up here, follows across, and goes up to the rest of the house. Still got my water line off. I just got power. I did not have a, this is my power for, or my outlet box that I wanted to plug into, but I didn't want to buy a bunch of packs to run through the ceiling over to where I needed to splice in because I was thinking about putting it right there. But so instead I just ran an extension cord all the way through the rafters. Here's my drain. And so now I have to go back to Home Depot and get some more drain tubing. So everything's hooked up. I added salt, it was like four bags of salt. So I gotta add two more bags of salt and then I have to apparently take this little cap off the brine tank and add three ounces of bleach, which I do not have at the house. I just looked under all the cupboards. So I gotta run into town and get some bleach, but I have to pick up some, uh, that tubing I was talking about anyway for the drain, so. We're gonna run into town, get back, finish it up, put it through the regeneration phase, whatever that is, the electronics take care of that. So hopefully uh, Courtney and Nevaeh will be gone for another, just try to clean up garbage. Hopefully Nevaeh and Courtney will be gone for like the next hour to give me a little bit of chance to do it so they can have soft water when they get back. All right, you guys, she is working. Working, here you go, you can kind of see. Got the time set, 138 days till we're empty. It's currently in a recharge cycle. There's all of our salt. I had to add, add bleach, like three ounces of bleach to pull that cap off and put bleach in it's for the recharge cycle, just for the first time. We're good to go. Otherwise it's gonna recharge like every uh, two o'clock in the morning, every day. So there's the finished product got my extension cord running down i ended up uh, this is what i ended up doing for my drain instead of having a piece of flexible pipe just move that over i just did a piece of pvc half inch pvc with the elbow right there to get it into the drain you have to do a little coupler there 
and then I got a little creative and I made it run up the wall. Once I actually move a bunch of these bins and clean all the storage area out, throw stuff away we don't need, I'm actually going to get rid of some of these bins so we can actually probably mount this PVC pipe to these 2x4s all the way down and then do a little elbow into the drain. So, But for the meantime, I got my drain coming there, going into that hole, and then the drain that comes off the top comes down into that other hole. So they're both draining. And there's water coming out. You guys can hear it and see it. Good to go.